should I stand on the chair? I don't and then I looked at all of your camera phones and thought, no, I'm not going to stand on the chair. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I am so happy to be here. And first of all, thank you to committeeman Kelly for that kind introduction and for really emphasizing the importance of this race and electing Democrats up and down the ticket throughout the state of Illinois. Yeah. And also, thank you to Congresswoman is this, hello, Schakowsky for always being such a fierce leader and someone that I... Yay. Sorry. One moment. Okay. No? One moment. Unplugged. Maybe somebody can unplug. Look at the connection. One moment. It's good. It's good? All right. So, as I was saying, thank you so much to Congresswoman Schakowsky for always being not only just such a fierce leader and champion for working families, but someone that I um, have just really looked up to and admire so much as an elected official, official and someone who is just the epitome of what it means to really fight as hard as you can for your constituents and the communities that you serve. So thank you so much for being such a role model. So I thought I would start by just talking very briefly um, just because a couple of people asked about just sort of my background as I walked in. So I'm an attorney who practiced um, I've practiced law for over 20 years, but it's primarily been as a small business owner. I've owned my own firm, Alternative Dispute Resolution Firm, and I've been a mediator and arbitrator and served as an administrative law judge, primarily around issues relating to workplace discrimination and how to create a more fair workplace. I then went on to lead public safety for Cook County Board President Tony Crackwinkle, leading her criminal and juvenile justice reform agenda and working to reduce the populations at the Cook County Jail and Cook County Juvenile Temporary Detention Center. Um, then I went, my most recent position was leading the Center for Public Safety and Justice at the University of Illinois at Chicago, where we trained law enforcement all around the country on how to build trust with the communities that they serve. And then I was elected, and so proud to be elected of the, uh, as state representative of the 5th District, which is wholly within the city of Chicago. And every day I fight hard for my constituents. And now I am thrilled, absolutely thrilled, to be on the ticket running for Lieutenant Governor with J.B. Pritzker. things that I have in my background is I'm a trained circle keeper and restorative justice practitioner. And for those of you who are familiar with restorative justice and our approach to problem solving, you know that one of the key tenets of restorative justice is that the wisdom is found in the room. That you don't have to go outside of a community to determine what's best for that community. If you talk to the people within that community, all of the solutions will be found right there. Amen. And as we are continuing on this campaign and in this general election, I want you to know that that is exactly the approach that J.B. and I have taken throughout the primary and will continue to take not only in the general, but in the administration. And that is recognizing that all of you in this room are the key to the solutions to help move our state forward. It's not just about two people in the governor's office. It's not even just about the members of the General Assembly. It is about all of us working together, bringing our most creative ideas, all of our solution, all of our energy, to say that we are not going to stand for what has happened in this state under the failed leadership of Governor Rauner. That we are no longer, we are no longer going to stand for someone who has his own agenda, who doesn't care about our communities, who would allow a manufactured 736-day budget crisis that has caused social service agencies to shut their doors and lay off staff, that have caused seniors and children and our most vulnerable population be turned away from the critical services that they so need. We are not going to stand for it. And we don't have to look any further than right here in this room, Democrats who know what it means to knock on doors, to get out there and make phone calls, 
and to come together and uphold our democratic values because we know that our values are the things that hold our communities together and make sure that everyone who has a need gets those needs met and that there is a role for government and that role is to do good. So, so it has been an honor to travel this state and to get to know people all around this state and I certainly look forward to getting to know all of you here today and working with you to elect Democrats up and down the ticket. Because when JB and I talk about big things that need to get done, big things like a progressive income tax, it's going to require Democrats who are going to rally around these issues and rally around these efforts and make sure that we get it done. And I know that we can get it done with each and every one of you. There is an African proverb that I quote just about every time that I speak, and it says, if you want to go fast, you go alone. But if you want to go far, you go together. Think of how far we can go together for this state, to rebuild this state, to turn this state around, and we want to go far together with each and every one of you. So thank you so much for being here today. Rauner and help get Illinois back on track. Yeah. And to do that, we have one of the greatest, greatest champions who's going to help us do that, and I'd like to bring her up now, and that's Congresswoman Dan Schakowsky.